Ahlan wa sahlan karibu katika taarifa zetu siku hii ya leo jina langu ni Harith Salim Nami naitwa Nancy Nyancha karibu kwenye darubini weekend tukufahamishe mengi lakini kwanza tupate video kesi Mwafisa wa mahakama ya kisii kuzuru eneo la tukio la kinyama lililompofusha mtoto Sagini kijijini Kuruma Ijumaa ijayo. Maandamano dhidi ya serikali iliyopangiwa Jumatatu ya Zua ya Mseto. Collaboration. We build a sister sisterhood, a brother brotherhood, a first spouses collaboration and network to say that I will not sleep if my sister in Wajia is sleeping hungry na wito watolewa kwa county zilizo na chakula kusaidia zile zinazokabiliwa na tatizo la bala nja Asante sana kwa kujiunga nasi katika lugha ishara tunaye Brian siku hii ya leo. Sasa mwalimu wa shule ya upili ya Mbale kaunti ya Viga alipatikana amefariki katika hali ya kutazanisha alipokuwa akielekea nyumbani usiku kutoka shuleni. Baadhi ya walimu wamelalamika kuhusu utovu wa usalama wakidai vijana wengi katika kaunti hiyo ni waraibu wa pombe na bangi. Kulingana na mwalimu mkuu wa shule hiyo Peter Omtiti mwenda zake Silas Wor wa umri wa miaka 28 aligunduliwa na wapita njia akiwa barabarani na kuwa amepoteza fahamu. Alifika barabarani alipokuwa kipelekwa hospitalini wakazi wa, wa wanasema huenda mwenda zake alipigwa kwa kifaa butu baada ya kuondoka kwani alikuwa anavuja damu kichwani kapata ile damu inatizika kutoka kwa kichwa na mkono na alikuwa amelala tu hakuwa na fahamu kabisa kwa na huyu mwalimu hapa uh, mpaka saa mbili unusu ni mwalimu wa darasa yani class teacher alikuwa anapeana fare kwa wanafunzi kuna wazazi fulani walimtumia fare na ikaonekana ya kwamba aweze kupeana hii fare kwa wanafunzi tumekuwa naye akipeana na wanafunzi na akaondoka saa mbili unusu tunamjua mwalimu mzuri ni isa pasta so si mlevi si mtu ambaye tunaweza sema kwamba alikuwa maybe amesosana na mwenzake ama nini e, ni familia changa ni familia ya mtoto mmoja na mama na baba. E, wangali wachanga tumewafanyia harusi chuzi tu miaka miwili iliyopita. Kuna uwanja wa utamaduni karibu na shule yetu. Vijana wengi wanalala hapo wakifuta bangi na kuna unaoona ni vijana ambao uwezo waamini na imefanya eneo hili limekuwa mbaya kidogo kiu na kaunti zinazopakana na Ziwa Victoria zimetakiwa kutumia mbinu za kudumu kuongeza idadi ya samaki ambao wanapungua kutokana na athari za mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa. Akiongea wakati wa kuhitimisha kongamano la magavana kutoka eneo la Ziwa, mwakilishi wa shirika la chakula na kilimo wa Kenya Kala Mikavi alitoa wito kwa kaunti hizo kutumia vishawishi vilivyoko kukabiliana na athari za mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa. Mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa yameadhiri viumbe vya majini kwa kiwango kikubwa na idadi ya samaki katika Ziwa Victoria imepungua kwa kiwango cha kutia wasiwasi. Industry. Mwakilishi wa shirika la chakula na kilimo FAO hapa nchini Kala Mikavi alisema taifa hili lina upungufu wa samaki wa tani 400 na kutoa wito kwa kaunti kuhimiza mbinu za kisasa za ufugaji samaki. Uh, like Victoria which is uh, the main source for inland fisheries and catch fish farming together with the other aquaculture practices have a huge a huge potential in closing the fish production gap in Kenya Gavana wa Busia Polo Toma alisema mizozo inayotokana na Ziwa Victoria rasilimali za mipakani inafaa kuwezesha serikali kutambua ufugaji wa samaki kama chanzo mbadala cha samaki If it is an average gege is around 4 to 500 shillings. If you look at the average income of a citizen here, most of them would rather sell that and buy something else and maybe remain with some balance to do other things. So you can find your fisherman but you cannot afford to eat that fish yourself. And it's a challenge to us. 
Matamshi yaliongwa mkono na mwenzake wa Migori Ochilo Ayako aliyesisitiza haja ya kukuza uwezo wa wafugaji wa samaki. And the Ugandans discovered that we are very aggressive fishing communities around here so they are here to Migingo and in some other islands including Bosia arresting our people. So if we are to have sustainable stocks in the lake we must think outside the box. Ruth Wamboi Darubini weekend na maandamano yaliyopangwa na kiongozi wa upinzani Raila Odinga kote nchini siku ya Jumatatu yanaendelea kuibua hisia mseto. Wanaunga mkono wito huo waliandamana leo huku wapinzani wakisema maandamano hayo hayatabadilisha chochote. Shughuli zililemazwa mjini Migori huku wafasi wa muungano waazimio wakiandamana kwa amani kabla ya maandamano ya taifa zima Jumatatu ijayo aidha uchukuzi ulilemazwa huku madereva wakilazimika kuegesha magari yao kando ya barabara wakihofia usalama wao wakilalamikia gharama ya juu ya maisha waandamanaji hao walitumia mawe kuweka vizuizi kwa barabara kuu ya Migori kuelekea Isabania Mtu ajana wako jako niko na njaja meni hata saa hii kusoa siwezi za hata kubali hata kulala siwezi lala na mtu jameni kwa sababu ya njaa sasa vile vile katika kaunti ya Busia mamia ya ofisi wa muungano huo waliandamana kupinga gharama ya juu ya maisha wakiongozwa na mbunge wa Matayos Geoffrey Odanga ofisi hao walitaka serikali irejeshe ruzuku kwa bidhaa muhimu ili kwa kinga wa Kenya dhidi ya gharama ya juu ya maisha hakikisha yes. kwamba Bei imeshuka yes. ya vyakula yes. ya mafuta yes. ya stima yes. ya kila kitu yes. Lakini huku wafuasi wa muungano huo wakiandamana baadhi ya wanachama wa shirika la maendeleo wanawake jijini Nairobi sasa wanatoa wito kwa kinara wa upinzani Raila Odinga kusitisha maandamano hayo yaliyopangwa kufanyika Jumatatu ijayo Kile kinaendelea sio maandamano ni kutafuta njia ya kuingia kwa serikali kwa mlango ya nyuma. Na hiyo ndiyo hatutakubali. Sisi hakuna watoto wetu tutakubali watoke kwa maandamano. Mambo mengine wanasema wataenda state house. State house sio mende inakaa huko. Ni serikali ile imechaguliwa. Ongezea tena nataka kusema uwe huyu mzee mwenye maandamano tunamuomba kabisa. Maandamano kama ni maandamano anataka apitie bunge siko ndio sheria inatengeneza ngo ama namna gani na jumatatu ni siku ya watu, ma, wazazi kurudisha watoto yao shule kwa hivyo sisi tunamka tunasema na tunamuomba kabisa kama ni mtu akusikia hiyo maandamano awachane naye katakata na president wetu tunamwambia tuko nyuma yake wa mama wote wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima na mhoziri wa michezo babu na mwamba leo alihudhuria misa ya wafu aliyekuwa mkewe Priska na Birangu Mwaro katika kanisa la Consolata hapa jijini Nairobi. Mwaro alifariki tarehe nane mwezi huu siku moja tu baada ya kusherehekea miaka 39 ya kuzaliwa kwake. Alipatikana amezirai nyumbani uh, paki na dada yake ambaye alimpeleka katika hospitali ya Nairobi alikotangazwa rasmi kwamba amefariki. Marehemu alikuwa akifanya kazi katika idara ya usimamizi kwenye shirika la Kenjen. Amewacha watoto watatu wakiwemo Tayana, Elena, Chi Ababu na Tera Ababu pamoja na ndugu zake. Mwili wake ulisafirishwa hadi Port Victoria County ya Busia ambako atazikwa katika boma la Ababu Tera kwenye hafla ya kibinafsi mnamo Jumamosi. Mafisa wa mahkama huko Kisi tarehe 24 mwezi huu watazuru kijiji cha Ikuruma eneo la Marani eneo kuliko tekelezwa kitendo cha kinyama kilichomwacha mvulana wa miaka mitatu bila macho 
Hakimu Mkazi Christine Ogweno amewaagiza makachero kwenye kesi hiyo kuongoza ushukio wa tatu hadi eneo ambapo yadaiwa walimnyofua macho Britton Junior Sagini kama sehemu ya ushahidi. Maelezo zaidi ni katika taarifa ya Sarafu na Robi. Watatu hao ambao ni Rail ya Kerario, Alex Ochogo na Pasifika Kwamboka, tarehe 24 mwezi Machi wataandamana na Makachero kuelekea eneo la Marani ambapo inadeo walimnyofua macho mtoto Sagini mwenye umri wa miaka mitatu. Afisa wa polisi Goded Mburu alikamata moja wapo wa washtaki wa hao aliambia mahakama kuwa alikimbia hadi eneo la tukio alipopata habari kuwa wananchi waliokuwa na ghadhabu wanataka kumchoma shangazie mtoto Sagini Pacifica Nyakerario ambaye walidai alihusika katika kitendo hicho cha kusikitisha. Sarafina Robi Darubini. Tunakwenda mapumzikoni lakini tutarejea na mengi baada ya mdosi kwa mrefu. Naizi kampuni zenye zinajua mali niko kitu nimekula breko kitu nasema sahi kitu nitakula next week on Thursday pesa niko nazo kwa account siblings wangu the list is endless namna judge hii information kwani mna ni stock eh lakini nikuulize kabla ya ku press allow allow ulijiuliza hii information ilitumiwa kwa njia gani kabla ya ku allow hakikisho umesoma terms and condition ujumbe huu umeletwa kwako na ofisi ya data protection commissioner Welcome to Casablanca. Morocco is a very touristic country. I think it is in our in our blood to, to the hosting. We are very well known for hospitality. Football remains the most popular sport. Just what is behind Morocco's success in football? We have the homologation of CAF and FIFA, both of them. This week on Channel 1. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mungu anatarajia ukanyange hatua mbele. wengine wametawaliwa na uchawi wakati wao umefika we umenitazama siku ya leo neema na kibali cha Bwana kikawe juu ya maisha yako Na mbio hapo ndio mwanzo unajiunga nasi tunaendeleza taarifa zetu hapa KBC. Na mama wa taifa Rachel Ruto amewataka wake wa magavana kushirikiana kubuni mbinu za kuwasaidia magavana na serikali zao. Akizungumza katika ikulu ya rais hapa Nairobi baada ya kuandaa kemsha kinywa kwa wake za magavana Rachel alipendekeza mpango wa kusaidiana vyakula ambapo wake wa magavana kutoka kaunti zilizo na chakula cha kutosha wao wanawasaidia wenzao wanaokumbwa na njaa kupitia mpango wa Mama Doing Good na washirika wake afisi ya Mama wa Taifa itatoa usaidizi kwa ukuzaji wa kiufundi kwa mipango itakayoanzishwa na wake wa magavana We build a sister sisterhood a brother brotherhood a first spouse collaboration work to say that I will not sleep if my sister in Wajia is sleeping hungry And so that is what I was thinking. The ones from Transoia, my sister Mrs. Natembea and my sister Mrs. B with the maize there because we have a lot of maize there. What about if you collect, you know, people donate and bring a few sacks of maize during the harvest if you adopt a forest in your county. Take a minute to think about the forest in your county some of you are thinking mm, i don't think we have any forest what about coming up with a forest 
in your county. Government is here to support us. We are reforming the whole space around um, empowering women financially. I uh, recently changed the manner of delivery of uh, uh, credit to women using our Women Enterprise Fund. I have uh, in this budget uh, the affirmative action uh, finances by our women members of parliament. We have added a billion shillings to them so that they can reach more women. We have also increased uh, financing out of the Women Enterprise Fund from 5 billion to 13 billion. We are going to and we want to deliver we want to deliver that on a technology platform na serikali imeonya kuwa taasisi za mafunzo ya kifundi zinazofanya kazi bila hati zinazohitajika zitafungwa akiongea wakati ya hafla ya mahafala katika taasisi ya masomo ya usimamizi hapa nchini mkurugenzi wa masuala ya ubora kuhusu elimu ya taasisi za kiufundi Josephine Kasera amesema taasisi za mafunzo ya kiufundi hapa nchini zitakaguliwa ili kubaini uwezo wao wa kutoa mafunzo yanayofiki viwango vilivyowekwa initiative that is going to uh, shape the skills of uh, potential employees even as they seek employment in other organizations learning is not just theoretical there is a practical aspect that is there and indeed there is a cost that they have to do on practical attachment and orientation and it is marked nam wakati mtoto anapompoteza mzazi wake ni wachache sana ambao ubahatika kupata malezi au mlezi wa kujaza pengo lililoachwa na mzazi aliyefariki lakini hadithi ni tofauti kwa msichana wa umri wa miaka 11 katika kaunti ya Samburu ambaye tumempa jina la Simaloi ili kumbana Simaloi ni mlezi wa na pia ana kimo mahitaji ya ndugu zake wadogo yeye ukosa kuhudhuria masomo kutokana na jukumu alilojitwika la kuwa mzazi sasa Shila Yogo ana taarifa kamili kuhusiana na hayo Kwa sasa niko katika shule ya msingi ya Loikas katika darasa la tano. Tumelibana jina la msiana huyu na kumpa jina Simaloi. Hayuko shuleni, yuko wapi? Yuko nyumbani, anawatunza dada na ndugu zake wadogo kwa sababu hana mzazi ambaye anaweza chukua jukumu hilo. Kibanda hiki ni makazi ya Simaloi mwenye umri wa miaka 11 na ndugu zake wadogo. Yeye ni mlezi wa watoto hawa. Simaloi yuko nyumbani kwao katika eneo la shamba akiwatunza watoto wao wadogo. We also have girls who are basically the caregivers of their siblings. Like we have a case of a girl who is only um, 11 years and she's taking care of her two siblings um, she's been absent from school and uh, she's in grade 5 um, the mother was involved in a road accident um, just last month so the mother passed on and the girl was left with her father who is a drunkard and lives in the forest <laughs> anapoamka asubuhi yeye huwatarisha watoto hawa na pamoja wanaondoka wote wakienda shuleni wakati ndugu zake wanapougua yeye husalia nyumbani badala ya kuhudhuria masomo when the kids are sick the girl does not come to school because she has to stay at home and take care of the two young Huku ukame ukiendelea na hali ya uchumi ikiwa ngumu zaidi yeye hukosa kufika shuleni ili kutafuta mbinu za kuwatafutia ndugu zake chakula Mimi nilikuwa naenda nga kibarua naenda kushota mshanga afu watoto wa kule chakula naenda nga kuosha nguo afu watoto wa kule chakula wakati mwingine wao ubahatika kupata chakula kutoka kwa majirani nyumba yao iliteketezwa na moto wakati Simaloi alipokuwa akiandaa chakula iwapo atakosa kupata usaidizi mwalimu wake anahofia kuwa ndoto ya msiana huyu ya kukamilisha elimu huenda ikakatizwa if the system continues 
we are afraid that we lose a girl majirani wametoa wito kwa samaria wema kuwasaidia watoto hao Mlezi huyu mdogo ana imani kuwa msamaria mwema atajitokeza kuwasaidia kujenga nyumba ili yeye na ndugu zake wapate makazi. Shila Kayaro Yogo ni kiripotia KBC County ya Samburu. Mtazamaji kwa biashara serikali na dhamiria kusajili kwenye makundi takriban mafundi milioni 6.7 wajua kali kabla ya mwezi Juni mwaka huu kama sehemu ya kuandaa makundi hayo kunufaika na huduma za kifedha kutoka hazina ya hasla waziri ostai wa vyama vya ushirika biashara ndogo na zile za kadri Simon Chelugui amesema serikali inaimarisha mchakato wa kusajili wenye biashara ndogo kwenye mfumo wa pamoja wa kidijitali ili waweze kutambuliwa rasmi taarifa kamili kwenye mseto wa biashara Sekta ya jua kali humo nchini inaajiri takriban tisini ya wakenya lakini wengi wao hawanufaiki na rasilimali au huduma za kifedha kutokana na aina ya kazi wanazofanya ni kutokana na haya ambapo serikali imezindua mfumo wa pamoja wa kidijitali ambao unatumiwa wakati wa kusambaza rasilimali hata hivyo usajili wa biashara ndogo unajivuta Given the significance of the MSMEs As the source of employment, hurdles to accessing funding becomes an obstacle to poverty reduction and economic progress. They are faced with two key challenges in financing: affordability and accessibility. Wakati huo huo wanasayansi wanaimiza kampeni ya uhamasisho na ubadilishaji habari kuhusu kilimo ili kuondoa dhana potovu kuhusu mimea kisaki yaani GMO. Wanasema wanawake ndio upotoshwa kwa urahisi jambo ambalo limetatiza ubunifu katika sekta ya kilimo hususan kuhusu mimea ya GMO ikizingatiwa kuwa zaidi ya asilimia sabini ya shughuli za kilimo zinatekelezwa kwa kina mama. So the challenge we have is How do we make sure that this mis misinformation does not derail agriculture? Because this is what is hindering our food production. And I'm convinced we can produce enough food for ourselves. And particularly if we pay attention to the potential that is found in our source. A place we will eventually have to think about because as population pressure means that the other areas of Kenya the lads are shrinking they cannot be mechanized we have only one way to go we'll have to go to our source Hatimaye shirika la utafiti kuhusu kilimo la ufugaji limezindua aina mpya ya korosho inayokomaa katika kipindi cha mwaka mmoja na nusu ikilinganishwa na korosho ya kawaida inayokomaa katika kipindi cha miaka mitano. Katibu katika Wizara ya Kilimo Kelo Hasama amewashauri wakulima hasa wale walioko katika maeneo kame kuzingatia kilimo cha mimea kuuzwa ili waweze kunufaika zaidi. Iko soko kubwa katika dunia katika Kenya ambayo hata ukilima shamba yote ya Kenya huwezi tosheleza. Hiyo soko haiwezi tosheleza. Kwa hivyo ni nafasi nzuri ya wakenya wale wanataka kulima hii kwa sehemu kame eh, kwa sababu hii ni mimea ambayo itaki mvua mingi inastahimili kwa those arid and semi arid areas watu wachukue advantage wapande kwa wingi. kwa gani ama mfanye mfanye hakuna watu watu disukua first of all manda msa alifent alifent wakati alifentuka mimi nikamwambia asijali haya ni mambo ya kutoka kutoka si utoka uende nani wewe we. sasa wewe sio una control hii koti mimi ndio na control hii koti 
Sasa nikwambia utae simu hiyo kibara yako usiongee vibaya. Wewe kusaleta kusakuwa na habit sasa kukula kula mtu wa wewe iko kula mimi kabisa. Ile mchungu lishikia. Eh, ndio kaanza kuleta hii mambo yote yote mpango ati dhahabu ilenda juu mkapima wapi mm. ikakuwa mawe. Yote nikisema ni mpango yako. Mm. Acha kuna sema roho. Ah mimi silanga mpango ya kando. Yes, ndio ni roho kabisa. Mpango ya kando. Don't miss our upcoming episode on kidney disease as we dive deep into kidney disease management and prevention. So kidney disease means that function is abnormal or sometimes the structure of the kidney. Maybe you are born with one kidney. Hear from a patient and a doctor about their experiences and discover how you can take proactive steps to protect your kidney health. So whether you are currently living with kidney disease, have a loved one who is affected or simply want to learn more about kidney health, this program is for you. Na mhujambo na karibu sana katika darubini michezo mimi ni at i lemoka Karan Patel, Jas Magat na Hamza Anwar ni miongoni mwa madereva wanaonuia kutoa ubingwa wa makala ya mwaka huu ya mbio za magari ya Equator yaliyoanza leo huko Voi. Mashindano hayo yatakayokamilika siku ya Jumapili yamewavutia zaidi ya madereva kumi na watano. Makala ya mwaka huu ya Ikweta Rally inaandaliwa baada ya yale ya mkondo wa kwanza ya Rally Bandama yaliyoandaliwa mwezi Februari nchini Kodiva. Hata hivyo, madereva walio shiriki kwenye mkondo huo wa kwanza washiriki kwenye mkondo wa Ikweta. Kenya nganyiro cha pointi za raundi ya pili kinatarajiwa kutoka kwa Karan Patel ambaye pia ni bingwa mtetezi wa mashindano hayo na amesema kuwa atajituma vilivyo ili kuhakikisha kuwa anatetea taji yake. Having in uh, wet conditions is something I'm not too keen. Uh, or rather i don't have much confidence um, we did take part in in the uganda rally in the pearl of africa rally and uh, in in that particular event we did perform quite well in a wet section beating the competition by almost a minute and a bit so uh, i feel there is room for me to improve my confidence levels in in the wet Jasmine Gat na Yasin Nasero wa Uganda na Piero Konobio wa Kenya pia ni miongoni mwa madereva na ushiriki mashindano hayo Patel atasaidiwa na Tosif Khan kwenye gari aina ya Ford Fiesta. Madereva wengine wanaoshiriki ni pamoja na Amza Anwar, Makreki Mount na Jeremia Wahome. Bingwa mtetezi Karan Patel ameahidi kuwa atafanya kila awezalo ili kutetea taji hilo na ambalo alishinda mwaka uliopita. Ila wakinzani wake Amza Anwar na Jeremy Wahome wameahidi kufanya kila awezalo ili kuweza kumpiku Patel na kuibuka washindi. Je Nani ataibuka mshindi kwenye makala ya mwaka huu ya Equator Rally? Daniel Mwendwa, Darubini Michezo. Na mvizuri sana Dan Mwendwa kwa taarifa hiyo. Sasa tuangazie taarifa zinazohusiana na ndondi ambapo mabondia wa Kenya walishindwa kutamba huku mashindano ya dunia ya wanawake yakianza katika ukumbi wa Indira Gandhi mjini New Delhi huko India. Pauline Chege alipoteza pigano lake la uzani wa fedha dhidi ya Reyes Moreno Nosh Bait wa Guatemala huku Amina Mata akilemewa na Landeata Johanna Carolina wa Venezuela. Mashindano hayo ya majuma mawili yatakamilika tarehe 31 mwezi huu. Tizamu. Bingwa wa taifa uzani wa fedha Pauline Shege alikuwa bondiwa wa kwanza kubanduliwa mashindanoni baada ya kushindana na Moreno na Oshbeto Guatemala. Shege alijitahidi lakini akashindwa kwa ubora wa alama. Mwenzake Amina Madha alikuwa pili lingo na licha kujituma vilivyo alishindwa na landeta Yohana Carolina wa Venezuela. Kocha mkuu Musa Benjamin alisisitiza kuwa mabondia wa Kenya walifanya vyema lakini waamuzi wa wasimamizi wa mapigano hayo haukuridhisha. Hata hivyo Musa alisema wabondia waliosalia wana uwezo wa kuandikisha matokeo bora baada ya kikosi hicho kuandikisha matokeo yasiyoridhisha kwenye makala iliyotangulia mjini Istanbul Uturuki. Uh, Nina take home many many lessons to learn because we never lose the learn. Uh, eh na nilikuwa confident everything nikwa kwa kwa ring nilikuwa nilikuwa nimerelax i'd say yeah 
and I gave my best. I think we are missing more exposure and I feel I did better than last year. For me, I did not have much pressure in the game. I did my best. English in the second round, which is I am Kuyote. And you can expect Pia third round, which is a poor cause of Milkwan and Juan Machuka Pia third round, but I feel officiating level is a poor affair. So, I mean, that we were here. To be quite disappointed, Kabisa Manake, you'll see the criteria, Mazo, Aiba, you wake up the Mashidano scoring criteria. Zote, Amina Mekuanazo, Amekua, Amelan, more cleaner punches. Mabondia wanawakilisha Kenya kwenye mashindano haya ya dunia ni Kristin Ongare, uzani wa minimum, Anne Wanjiro uzani wa light, Veronica Mbide uzani wa fly, Freeza Anyango uzani wa welter, Lona Kusa uzani wa light middle na nahodha Elizabeth Diego miongoni mwa wengine. Mashindano hayo ya majuma mawili yatakamilika tarehe 31 mwezi huu. na mashindano ya ndondi ya dunia kwa wanawake. Tureje humu nchini ambapo Vinara Gurmahi walitoka Sare Kapa na KCB katika mechi ya ligi kuu ya soka humu nchini iliyochezwa leo katika uwanja wa taifa Uwanyayo. Tazama jinsi mambo yalivyokuwa. KCB ilitawala kipindi cha kwanza na kupoteza nafasi mbili za wazi huku mechi hiyo ikienda mapumzikoni bila bao. Kogalo ilirejea kwa makali katika kipindi cha pili lakini Benson Omala alipoteza nafasi za wazi na kuziwacha timu hizo mbili na alama moja moja punde tu kipenga cha mwisho kilipopulizwa sare hiyo imeiwacha kogalo kilele nipa ligi hiyo kwa alama 42 alama tano mbele ya KCB aidha gormahi aitachuana na sofa paka kwenye mechi yake ijayo jumamosi hii tarehe 25 mwezi huu nayo na KCB icheze ugenini dhidi ya Kakamega Homeboys siku ya nne baadaye ama siku nne baadaye I only thought it was in when he struck it and it went past that post. It was so close. Um, KCB had a couple of chances in the first half, which were largely of our own doing. You know, Jeffrey was caught out of position, and um, Dennis Nanga sort of miss him and Sydney got sort of together and didn't quite head the ball clear. But other than that, I don't remember KCB having a clear chance. I think uh, always Gormaya is a tough team. Uh, uh, one for us getting a draw is uh, is a plus why because last season they managed to beat us twice and now because uh, we've uh, won and drawn that's a very big plus to us na mtazamaji na tuelekee ugaibuni ambapo mabingwa Real Madrid watamenyana na Chelsea kwenye robo fainali ya ligi kuu ya klabu bingwa barani Ulaya kwa mara ya pili mfululizo Real Madrid ilibandua Chelsea kwenye awamu hiyo msimu uliopita na timu hizo mbili zinakutana tena huku mkondo wa kwanza ukichezwa uwanjani Santiago Bernabeu tarehe 11 mwezi Aprili ya robo fainali ya ligi ya klabu bingwa barani Ulaya nafika huku mabingwa wa ligi kuu ya Italia AC Milan wakipambana dhidi ya vinara wa ligi hiyo kwa sasa Napoli needs some support finds it in the shape of Mario Rui it's his ball in Simeone Napoli have come roaring back Mechi za mkondo wa kwanza zitachezwa tarehe 11 na 12 mwezi Aprili na mikondo ya pili ichezwe tarehe 18 na 19 mwezi huo. Fainali itachezwa tarehe 10 mwezi Juni katika uga wa Olympic Athletic nchini Uturuki. Kwingi neko Manchester United watamenyana na Sevilla ya Uhispania katika robo fainali ya ligi ya Europa huku Juventus wakichuana na Sporting Lisbon ya Hungary katika uga wa Pushkash tarehe 31 mwezi Mei. Nancy Onyancho tumefika mwisho sana wa darubini michezo lakini kumbuka Almeraiki ya Sudan wacheza na e, uh, Esperance ya Tunisia ni moja moja uh, Esperance wameilishwa kadi nyekundu alafu Cotton Sport kutoka Cameroon na Al Ahli ya Egypt magoli ni mawili kwa sifuri Al Ahli wanaongoza kwa magoli mawili Zamalek e, watakuwa wanacheza saa nne usiku dhidi ya Bulizdad kutoka huko Algeria na kurudisha kwake Harith na Nancy Onyancha mimi ni at I le moka na nimetoka <laughs> Leo sasa kumalizia malizia <laughs> kumalizia malizia tu ni kwamba hii nafikiri itakuwa inajieleza mpumbavu huona matatizo ya mwenzake kama fursa ya gumzo lakini mtu mwenye hekma na busara huona matatizo ya mwenzake kama 
fursa ya mafunzo na tahadhari naitwa Harith Sadi Asante na naitwa Nancy Nyanja mtazamaji tukutane wiki ijayo papa hapa majaliwa